Come in. Come in. For God's sake, come in. I'm coming in, aren't I? You want to get that bloody handle fixed? Oh well, yes, I've uh, meaning to. Well, no good meaning to. You want to get on with it. One day you'll be shouting, come in, and it'll go on forever because the poor sod won't be able to get in. And you won't be able to get out. And you are... I'm a what? Pardon? What? What is your name? My first name. Well, that would constitute to some sort of start, yes. Rita. Right, Rita. Um, oh, yes, here we go. Rita. Um, it says Mrs S. White. Oh, that's S. S for Susan, but I'm not a Susan anymore. I changed my name to Rita. You know, after Rita Mae Brown. No. Rita Mae Brown, who wrote Ruby Fruit Jungle. Have you not read it? Oh, it's a fantastic book. Do you want to lend it? Oh, yes, thank you very much. All right. And what do they call you around here? Well, they call me Sir, but you can call me Frank. Okay, Frank. That's a nice picture, isn't it, Frank? I suppose it is, yes. It's very erotic. I don't think I've looked at that picture in about ten years, but I suppose so. <laughs> no, I suppose about it. Look at those tits. You don't mind me using words like that, do you? Like what? Tits. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. It's only the masses who don't understand. Oh, no, it's not their fault, but sometimes I hate them. Do it to shock them sometimes. You know when I'm at the hairdressers where I work, I sometimes say things like, oh, I'm really fucked, dead loud. Doesn't half cause a fuss. Well, educated people don't worry, do they? It's the aristocracy that swears the most. It's all, pass me the fucking pheasant with them. <laughs> well, you couldn't tell them that from round our way. And you meant to be interviewing me? Do I need to? Oh, I know I talk too much, don't I? Yeah, I know I talk a lot, but I don't want him at home. It's just not often I get to talk to someone like you. Do you want to sit down? Mm. And would you like a drink? Of what? Vodka? Yeah. My mate's got a drinks cabinet like that. So, uh, what made you decide to do this so suddenly? Oh, it's not sudden. Oh, I've been realising for a while that I'm out of step. I should have had a baby by now. Everyone expects it. But I don't want to have a baby yet. I want to discover myself first. Do you get that? Yes. I've, you know, tried to explain to my husband, but... Between you and me, I think he's thick. What's this like? Howard's End. <laughs> Howard's End. Sounds filthy, doesn't it? Um, Foster. It's Forster. Mm, Forster. What's it like? Oh, you'd like to borrow it. Okay. I'll take care of it for you. I'll send it back for Pack the Carson. Well, you haven't even started yet. Why would you pack it in? Well, just might, you know. I think it was a soft idea. What does assonance mean? <laughs> what? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, it's a type of rhyme. What's an example? Have you heard of Yeats? The Wine Lodge. No, <laughs> W.B. Yeats, the poet. Mm, no. Well, in his poem, The Wild Swans Are Cool, he rhymes the word swan with stone. You see what I mean? That's, that's an example of assonance. So it means getting the rhyme wrong? Well, I suppose it does. I never really thought about it that way. Oh, I love this room. Do you have a good view from the window? Oh, I never really consider it. Sometimes I have the urge to throw something through it. What? Oh, usually it's a student. You're bloody mad, aren't you? <laughs> Possibly. What are you looking at? Are you a good woman's hairdresser, Rita?